Hello everyone. In this video, we will go over 4D SASE, a cloud-delivered solution that seamlessly converges networking and security to protect hybrid workforce while maintaining optimal end user experience. 4D SASE extends 4D Guard security services across the thin edge, SD-WAN edge, and remote users, enabling secure access for users both on and off the network. In this demo, we will focus on three key use cases covered by 4D SASE. Starting with secure internet access, where 4D SASE extends its security services to the users regardless of their geographic location and the device they are using. Secure SAS access utilizing the next gen dual mode CASB for inline blocking and API based protection for the cloud applications. And lastly, flexible secure private access solution based on the universal ZTNA, where user traffic is steered directly to the ZTNA application gateway or cloud native private application access based on the 4D SASE SD-WAN integration. With that, let's quickly glance over the secure internet and secure SaaS access configuration on the 4D SASE cloud console. The web filtering profile is configured to block certain categories like hacking, proxy avoidance, crypto mining, gambling, along with web categories that pose security risks like phishing and malicious website. Also, I have configured tenant level access controls utilizing HTTP header insertion feature for Microsoft Office 365. Similarly, the app control profile is set up to block social media and collaboration apps and app override rules are created to allow or block certain applications. As part of SaaS app security, I have blocked file uploads to Box, Dropbox and personal Google Drive accounts. All the Microsoft applications are allowed via app override rule to highlight the tenant level access controls for Microsoft Office 365 via web filter inline CASB security profile. Also, I have enabled deep SSL inspection for all user traffic traversing 4D SASE using a self-signed SSL CA certificate. Now, let's move on to a desktop and verify the functionality. Within the 4D client console, we can see that the endpoint is managed by 4D SASE Cloud. And by looking at the remote access tab, we can notice that the user is connected to 4D SASE over the SSL VPN tunnel. Also, by navigating to user profile, we can verify if the endpoint has received the required zero trust tags to comply with the secure internet and private access policies. Now, let's see what happens when a user tries to access a malicious website. Since we have blocked risky categories like malicious and phishing websites under the web filtering profile, 4D SASE will block the connection and present the user with a block notification page highlighting the reason as a phishing URL or domain. Moving forward, if user tries to access some gambling website, 4D SASE will again block the user activity and present a response page with the reasoning behind the block. Now, let's verify application control functionality by trying to access WhatsApp that falls under collaboration category. Again, 4D SASE will block the user access to WhatsApp and present the user with the block notification page. With that, let's move on to our second use case related to secure SaaS access. Since we have implemented tenant control under the web filtering profile, user access to the personal Microsoft account will be blocked and a notification message will be presented to the user. Now, let's verify the behavior if user try to access his personal OneDrive account. On the login page, user will enter the personal account details and once again, he will get redirected to the same Microsoft notification page. Moving on, if I try to access a Microsoft Office 365 account configured under the web filter with inline CASB profile, Microsoft will redirect me to the Fortinet single sign-on login page, highlighting the tenant level access control for the SaaS applications. With that, let's move on to our last use case related to the secure private access. Under the endpoint profiles tab, 
I have configured split tunnel to bypass SSL VPN tunnel for the user traffic destined to ZTNA subnet. SD-WAN hubs are configured under the private access tab. FODISAC allows up to 4 SD-WAN hubs to support private access use case. Secure private access configuration on FODISAC is quite straightforward. It requires user to input few hub and BGP related parameters and from there on FODISAC will automatically bring up IPsec tunnels, BGP pairing and SD-WAN rules to steer user traffic. Security admins can also view the IPsec tunnels and BGP peering status on the same page as well. In case we have configured multiple hubs, we can assign different priority to each hub in different regions to steer user traffic to the nearest hub. Or we can configure hub selection method based on hub health and priority within each point of presence, in which case 4 SASE will select the highest priority hub that meets the minimum SLA requirements. Lastly, let's take a look at DNS configuration. Here, security admin can choose from 4 guards secure DNS server, keep the current system settings, or choose between the available options like Google, Cloudflare, or Quad9. Here, we can also configure DNS split tunneling to resolve internal domains by forwarding the DNS queries for the specified domains to an internal DNS server. Now, let's move back to the same desktop and see secure private access with SD-WAN and ZTNA in action. First, I will try to access 4D Analyzer server. The traffic will be forwarded to 4D SASE over the SSL VPN tunnel and from there on it will be forwarded over the AD VPN connection to the on-prem 4D gate. 4D gate will redirect the user to the configured IDP for authentication before granting the access. Now, let's look at TCP forwarding use case with ZTNA. Within the 4D client console, we can see the list of ZTNA destination user is entitled to access over RDP or SSH protocols. Here, we will try to connect to internal resource over the private IP address in 172.16.10.x subnet. This traffic will bypass the SSL VPN tunnel since 4D client will intercept this connection and forward it to the access proxy virtual IP in 10.101.16.x subnet configured on the 4D gate. Upon successful authentication, user will get access to the Linux server terminal. Moving back to 4D SASE console, let's look at the secure private access and security event logs. Under the private access, we will only find the logs related to 4D analyzer server access, whereas SSH traffic logs will not show up here since that traffic was steered directly to the 4D gate hosting the access proxy virtual IP. Looking at the log details, we can see the traffic type, actions and other information related to SD-WAN rule ID, link quality along with SD-WAN rule name. Moving on, let's take a look at web filtering logs related to the user activity. We get the option to view security logs either under the analytics or within the security tab where we configure various security profiles. In this demo, I am going to use the security tab. Let's filter the web filter logs with username set to rnids and the policy action set to blocked. Here we can see all the blocked activity related to the gambling and phishing domains. The access to Microsoft Office 365 was not blocked by 4D SASE. Instead, it was blocked by Microsoft based on the HTTP header values passed on by 4D SASE within the request URL. Lastly, let's also verify the application control logs for WhatsApp web access. Again, let's filter the logs with the application name set to WhatsApp. And here you can see the blocked activity for user named Ornids. This concludes the demo. Thank you for watching.